Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Saron, neuropsychologist, and I'm here to talk to you today about your stress response because most people have stress all wrong. When I'm working with my patients at the Saron Centers, I never ask the question, how stressed are you today? And the reason why I don't ask it that way is the truth about your stress response is your stress response is going in and out of calm and stress multiple times a day in just milliseconds. So the right question to be asking yourself or to be asking somebody else when you're assessing stress is what do you notice now about your stress response? Stress can actually activate in milliseconds. And let me tell you how your brain does this. Think of stress turning on and off like a light switch. And your brain is taking input from internal thoughts, all of your five senses, body sensations, and any kind of other external event. It's actually, there's a, there's actually a hub called the salience network that's made of some key brain areas. And this hub is always trying to integrate everything to think about what to do. So if you see a snake, that enters in your line of vision, immediately you'll go into psh, sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, stressed out system, so that adrenaline is pumping through your body, and the only thing that your body and brain are concerned with in that moment is how to survive that snake. Now that's a very, very good biological mechanism that we have for survival. However, in our modern day life, when our lives are not at stake and we're not in, uh, in threat from the elements and things like that, most of us have food, water, and shelter, hopefully, and when we have these states, Unfortunately, this biological mechanism still goes off when it doesn't need to go off. Cell phone ringing and can't find it in your purse should not be going into sympathetic stress out system. However, for most of us, we are. Late to work for five minutes, sympathetic stress system. Multiple times a day, we're actually in a chronic state of stress and we don't need to be. Now parasympathetic activation is where we want to hang out. We want to feel calm, cool, collected. This is where we have empathy for other people. We're actually focused. We're able to go about our lives and we have this feeling like everything's going to be all right. Unfortunately, most of us are not in this system very often because this light switch is integrating all these things and kicking us off into sympathetic reactivity all too often. Try this for a moment. You can activate your sympathetic stressful system with just one thought. Now don't try this if you've ever had significant trauma or you go into states of dissociation. But if you're a typical person, you can do this without much problem. Think about something that you feel is stressful in your life and rate it in your mind on a scale of 0 to 10. The average, by the way, is about 7.58 when people do this. Immediately they can think of something that stressful. Now notice where you feel it inside of your body. You may have a little bit of a stomach ache. Your chest might feel tight or you may notice that your heart is beating rapidly. Your fingers may tingle or you may get a mild headache. This is the immediate effect of going into part of the sympathetic arousal system. And touch points can actually help pull the brain more into a parasympathetic state. Those of you who meditate, You've got it actually right. You can meditate and flex this muscle a little bit and be in more of a state of parasympathetic activation and be the observer in your own life rather than reacting with chronic states of sympathetic activation. However, we can't meditate in every moment of our lives. And even with meditation, going on into sympathetic stress system is unavoidable at times. And for those times, we have other solutions from neuroscience. Ever wonder why deep breaths don't work when you're really stressed out? If you're too far over into sympathetic stress, you can't think very well, nor can you even access that part of you that can actually take a deep breath. This system is designed for you not to be thinking and to only be reacting. So trying to use conscious thoughts or breath work when you're too stressed out oftentimes fails. Don't be hard on yourself if some of the strategies that you practice when you're not stressed out break down when you're stressed. There's more solutions from neuroscience, and for more information, you can go to ilovetouchpoints.com.